Hi there everyone, it is Tammy and we are going to be doing the shadow box for June, but it's actually for July. So it's the package for June, but it's the shadow box that we use in July, if that makes any sense. I'm hoping that it's making sense. Sorry, I needed a drink. It is uh, the middle of June right now, and I just got this from Tanya. This was a gift from Tanya. I just love her to pieces. You guys know, if you have watched my channel before, that Tanya, at home with Tanya, is my best friend. And we met via YouTube, and it has just been an amazing relationship. She is just a doll, and I completely adore her. And for Christmas and my birthday, she got me a 12-month supply of this adorable kit. It came from a shop in Utah called Heartfelt. So if any of you guys are in Utah and you want to get something like this, you can go to Heartfelt. And they are the ones that put this together. And it's just adorable. So every month I, I get a kit from Tanya. And I have a shadow box already and I just put my I make a new one every month and just display the new month and then you know I keep each one so that next year I'll just have them all ready and they're just so stinking cute this one is no different so this looks like it is the America die cut with beautiful brads and everything that you need is included in this kit so it's just makes it really fun and easy and let's see here's odds and ends Yankee doodle odds and ends that's fun and here's some vellum that is obviously for 4th of July and I kind of separated a little bit to get it ready to work I have a couple light blue a couple of those size light blues so I'm just dividing all the light blues up I'm going to move this actually over here and we'll put these up here my light blues my vellums, my whites. Oh, here's a cute little something, I'm sure. So I'm gonna put these to the side and I'm going to put this over here because I don't need that yet. That's my last step is attaching it to the main page. And I'm sure I'm gonna need that right away. So the first one, look how cute this is, aww. And they like to ink the edges of the stickers and the paper to create dimension using a dauber or a sponge or a Q-tip with ink and apply to the edges using until desired distressing is achieved. They use brown ink and they sample, so they use brown on this. If, if you want to do that, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So I'm going to pick out of here. This is the first time they've done a kit like this, so this is kind of fun. I need the little horsey and I need the Uncle Sam cap is that in here yes the Uncle Sam cap and the little spray is in here and this is in here and USA it looks like is in here so I have to get all of that out of here I might just take some of this out and see what I can find here so here's a hat. I don't know. That might be the one. I might try to separate this a little bit. Words. Little banners and embellishments. Like bigger sequins. That spells America, I have a feeling, or something like that. Fourth. Ooh, my husband will love this. Little flowers. Oh my goodness, I will love that. Little embellishments, home sweet home. Oh, that's cute. That's cute too. They're all cute. Look at the little wagon. Oh goodness, a mason jar. 
it's even colored blue. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness. I'll put the plasticky ones up there. I guess the fourth is that too. I should put that there. July, here's one of those things that I need. USA, that's, I need that. Here's a little, like, kaleidoscope thing or something. Another mason jar with marbles in it. Oh, and I think I need the United States, too. Oh, goodness, I just sent a bunch of that down. Erg. Wasn't supposed to go underneath my little tray, but it did. Heart. Flowers. That's a big one. A house. America. Cloud. Some of those things. All these littles firework but you can see how if you guys wanted to do something like this I don't think I'm gonna leave these in here because they're the littles or they're more littles so I'll just know that those are the littles okay so for this I'm going to need now let me see it I don't think I need a dark background. Where's the... Okay. So I just need the white and the light blue. Like this. And then I need... Looks like I also need a little golden firework. Of course, he's still in the thing, I just noticed. But I got that heart out that was that went under, under. He's still in here. Okay, so I'm gonna need this guy, and this guy. <laughs> this guy is too cute. This guy. This guy. This guy over here. Wearing the hat. And then I need one Star Spangled sticker, which is in the other kit. So. And this, this video is going to be long, I can tell you that, because this is, I can see that this is a long, lots of moving pieces, lots of fun stuff, but I think that you guys like this. I, the last one I did, you guys said you really liked, so I'm just going with it. If you want to fast forward, go right ahead, it won't hurt my feelings. I'm just going to be making each one of these squares. Now, I will say with this one, it might not be as long because it doesn't seem like there's as many squares because some of them are a lot, lot bigger, like this one would have been two squares in the other one. And sometimes I hate doing this distressed edging only because I will forget that I did it and then I'll not do it anymore and it's a pain in the butt. So I don't know if I'm going to do it to my things. I don't know. I guess I'm starting... It's sometimes, I don't know, it's sometimes not worth it, but it does lend to a kind of a neat dimension sometimes, too. 
and I'm obviously not as good at it as I could be. I'm not as careful. I'm not going in and going the extra mile and getting my daubers out and doing all of that. So let's see, I'm going to just stick this with my ATG gun onto the white paper. And I'm just centering it. And I think I might use some glue dots for these. Because I think the glue dots show less. Let me find my glue dots. Blue dot does not want to be picked up. Come on, glue dot. You are kidding me right now. I've never seen a glue dot that didn't want to be picked up. Holy cow. I'm throwing that glue dot away. He is a misfit glue dot. Maybe this is a misfit toy. There we go. Okay, so this is kind of sunk down here. And it's all the way over to here. So I'll do that. This one is raised up on a dimensional. I think it's these. I don't think they like to be stuck. Star Spangled sticker star sprinkle sticker I think they used white and then I need my fireworks couple glue dots should do it on these things because they aren't heavy at all. Well, this actually goes behind the states. Oops. There we go. And he is pop dotted up there. You know he's my favorite thing. He goes about like that. And I'm going to put a little bit of just regular snail adhesive down here on his hat. So that will fit on his head. Like that. 
And then I still need to do the USA over the top of everything. And this is with dimensionals as well. So I'm going to try to hide the dimensionals behind the colored parts. It doesn't like to stick to this plastic. I think it'll be okay once I get it stuck on there and I don't mess with it, but if I try to take this stuff off the plastic, it comes right off. USA. There we go. So there's our first one. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. I love it. Over here. Oh, good, we get to use that mouse. So now I'm going to go over here to this page. And I'm going to make number two. So I need a smaller blue. And a vellum. Alright, so let's do these edges before I forget. I'm going to make this your responsibility. If I forget, it's going to be your fault, okay? That sounds about right. I mean, you guys are just sitting there watching me. You may as well be assigned a helping duty, right? Sounds fair. <laughs> okay, so I'll do that. And I am using a color box pigment ink in the color Dune. But use whatever you like. You could use one of the Tim Holtz distressing inks if you wanted to. Actually, I think that this snail adhesive, this ATG gun, it makes it really nice. You can't hardly see where the line is even on the vellum. I mean, I can see it if I look, but if I didn't know, I don't think I'd know. Okay, so I need the big wagon. I couldn't remember the name. I'm going to need embellishments, including like a rainbow thing. So let's see here. I know I need a big old star. Heart, heart, a little heart with that same pattern. If I want to do the same thing, there's a star. Looks like that star, and then they used a blue star. It might still be in the bag. Oh yeah, it is. I don't know what this is, some rainbow thing. Oh, you know what? Is that the... Oh, it's the rainbow from the other thing. Okay. 
it's coming out of the box. Oops, I didn't really plan on that. Oh well. We'll see how it looks when I get it going. I'm not going to do the edges of this wagon. I am just going to go ahead and pop dot it. Do do do. Super cute. All right, and then this is going to go down here. And the wheels are coming off a little. That's still kind of sticky right there, but I'll just leave it alone for the moment. And then let's see. We will put some of these inside. Oh, I saw that star. Oh. No, I saw a checkerboard star. Oh, here. I'll use this one. And then a red heart. not be this one but that's okay I'm gonna use this one anyway nothing wants to stick to you do da do da but I need you to stick like glue oh do da day let me put this back here and then I'll put this right here over here put this one right here Blue guy with the glue dot. Right about here. And then this heart, I'm going to do a glue dot on this one too. There we go. 
That looks cute. A wagon full of Americana. And three. That's center, so I don't need that one. So I need this one. So I need the small square and the small. Oh, I think I need to use this and this. Maybe I should have done that on the last one, too. Oh, I think I should have. Oh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. <clears throat> I screwed it up. Oh, and I just screwed this up, too, because I put these on the wrong side. Ah, but I think I can peel it off. That's one thing that's awesome about this snail adhesive. It's hard to tell on vellum sometimes which side is up. <laughs> All right. Let's throw that away. So, here we go. Redo. Pretend that never happened. I could maybe get the other vellum up and put the white underneath it, but I don't think I'm going to worry about it. It's pretty cute just the way it is. Alright. There we go. And I need a firework. And family. And a heart. And the mason jar with, with marbles. And a firework. And then the word family is over here in this pile. Alright. So then I need to put this down first using my glue dots. I'll just put a couple of those down around here. And my heart is going to go over here, it looks like. So hopefully I got enough here. So let's see, I'll put my firework down. And I'll put my heart down. Oh, I didn't get enough for the heart, but that's okay. I can put some more down for the heart. Just need a couple. One will go on here. And let's do the other one down here. That should do it. And then I'm going to pop dot the mason jar. Again, I'm putting the pop dots where the marbles are so you hopefully can't see them too well. And I'm going to put this over here like so. And then I'm going to pop dot family 
and put it right there. So cute. So it's the middle of June when I'm putting this together right now, so I won't be using this for a little bit, but it is a cute set. I just love these. I don't know how many more I have. Not very many. I've gotten a lot done. I know that. So let's just put this down like so. Family. Super cute. Looks like I only have two more to do, guys. So I have this one, which is another long one. This and this. Oh, I get to use the car and the camper. How exciting. That is something a lot of Americans like to do is like drive across the country or go camping in different parts of the country. A lot of people talk about taking an RV and going across the country like when they retire. Actually, that's what my parents wanted to do. I do think that would be cool. There's so many beautiful things in the States that people just don't get to see. It seems like sometimes when I hear foreigners talking about the States, they've appreciated more of it than we have because they've gone to so many other places than we do. Because, you know, they come here and they want to travel and see things. And it's in our own neck of the woods. And we just don't take the time or have the money or seems like at least for my family when we have the time we don't have the money when we have the money we don't have the time and sometimes you just don't want to go somewhere so it kind of stinks but so it looks like everything on this page is pop dotted I'm gonna take a drink of my drink All right, so I need to get my truck and my camper and my fireworks. And a couple hearts. I'll use the star instead of a heart unless I have to have that for my last piece. Doesn't look like it. It looks like I'd be okay. And then the other things that I need are in this, the little uh, stickery stars. So Let's go ahead and start with this. I'm going to pop dot it. I'm going to pop dot this. going to pop dot this and I'm going to pop dot this all right
Well, I don't know how they did this without this showing, so I might just clip it off. Then I don't have to worry about it. Very cute. Star on this side and the heart on this side. Or should I do the heart on this side and the star on this side? Yeah, I kind of like that one. Alright, so I'm going to take a pop dot or a glue dot and put it here. glue dot and put it here. There we go. I think I need to put another top dot. Oops. 